good afternoon. It's a privilege. And I must tell you, personally for me, it's extremely overwhelming this afternoon. In fact, the stomach's been churning, and I must tell you why. I've got three of my mentors sitting here. In fact, people whom I've often turned to in life when I needed guidance. And this has been for the past 40 odd years, just to let you know what my age is. The only difference is that when I look at the three of them today, and some of them I met after a long time, and I mean this one very sincerely, they look the same. It's just me who's changed. And in many ways, that is true. It is truly a pleasure. In fact, Mr. Tabotan Singh has just left. But uh, 35 years ago, he was the gentleman who helped me get my driving license. And I just wanted to let him know I've just got one speeding ticket in the past 14 years. So we should be proud of him. <laughs> Sir, first I must congratulate you. I remember in your old building, I had come there. And it was just about a year and a half when you started and seeing you all today. Phenomenal institution. And I think one of the biggest blessings in life is that you created something which outlives you. And you've done that. And you've done How many students are here today? Can I have an arm show of that one? Okay, I've got five minutes. Let me speak to you today. <laughs> and my son had warned me that do not try and give any gyan. And in fact, this is the first. And I agree on that one because we are, in fact, the first generation where we cannot teach our children. You people know much more than us. But let me share with you as you step out into the real world now in a year, maybe in the next few months, what is really happening there. And since I'm a one-stop shop for foreign investors coming into India, let me share with you from their perspective on how they are viewing it. And at times, why that is important is because it gives you a more objective view than where you think you are yourself. So let me take it in the past 48 months. By the way, Invest India is a startup of the government of India. We're just about 36 months old. In the past 40 months, we've got 222 billion worth of foreign investment. Now let me put it in perspective. If I look at foreign investment from 2000 to 2018, the total number is about half a trillion. So what it means is you've got 50% of what you got in 18, months, 18 years in the past 48 months. What I'm trying to bring to you is that what is happening in India today is probably been rated as one of the most unprecedented transformations in human history in the free world. And now each one of you are privileged to be a part of this transformation and the role you will be playing in it. Of the 222 billion, close to half of that is greenfield investment. That means the investor today is willing to take a long-term call in India on each one of you sitting there. You are the number one greenfield destination in the world today. Of that 222 billion, 90% came in what you call without government approvals. You are one of the most open economies on the planet today. You're sitting on the center focus point of all foreign global investment. This is all jobs for you, by the way. You're growing at 8%. You're the fastest growing large economy on the planet. You have a GDP, which is $2.6 trillion. Let's see what has happened in the past 48 months. You've overtaken Russia, Italy, Brazil, and France. You're knocking at the door in December, January, you'll overtake the UK. You'll be in the top five, today you're number six. You'll be in the top five size of nations of GDP in the world. This is what you're going to be inheriting. And by the way, let me tell you a little number on that 2.6 trillion. It took us 60 years to come to the first trillion. It took us just seven years to come to the next one. And this 2.5 will convert by 2026 to five. It will just take us eight years to make it another 2.5 trillion dollars. This is the pace at which you are growing. By 2023, you will be 1.5 billion of human capital. One billion of those, and all of you, will be under the age of 35. You will be the largest workforce on the planet with over 800 million of you. And you know what's the other interesting part? You'll have an average age of 29. You'll be the youngest nation on the planet all the way up to 2070. 
it's unbelievable what you guys are going to step into. And let me leave you one more figure. An Indian born in 2001, it's a BCD study, would spend $245,000 in his or her lifetime. Multiply that by 1.5 billion. You will be the purchasing market power of this planet. Each one of you. And you know what's another interesting factor which is happening? 11% of the world's population today lives in your villages, about 750, 800 million. Every minute, 30 of them are moving from a village to a city in India. In the next five years, you will have created another United States of America. 350 odd million people will be there. And I'll leave you with just two more points. And why I'm telling you all this is because you are inheriting something which is unfathomable in many ways. And the other two points. You are the second largest country on the net. There are about 400, 450 million. You are the largest, not yet on the net. China is ahead of us. But every second, three new people are accessing the net. And the interesting point in that is, two of those three are accessing it from a village in India. The power is shifting beyond the Mumbai, Delhi, Calcutta, and China. And let me leave you with the last statistic which I want to because I've given you too many numbers. Three years ago, when there was a survey on data usage, and you know data is the new oil, right? It's going to be the new economy powering device which happens. In fact, for us, data will be the new spices. If you recollect like 200 years ago, you had 25% of the world's GDP and it's probably your chance to get back. So about 36 months ago, when there was the ranking of data usage in countries, you know what was your rank? Anybody wants to take a guess? We were 132. This January when that ranking happened, take a guess what was your ranking? You were number one in the world. You know what I'm trying to tell you? The pace at which this country is changing is phenomenal. And let me leave you because Mr. Ketan mentioned about the startup. So Startup India is also under invest in India. I've done about 100,000 queries with startups. By the way, you all must go to Startup Hub India. We just launched it 18 months ago. It's now the world's largest virtual incubator. 200,000 people on it. All those 100,000 queries, 72% have come from tier two, tier three cities of India. Remember I told you how the strength and the engine of India is moving away from the metros. You are privileged you are sitting in here. Mr. Ketan spoke about the fire in the belly. If you don't have it, you will lose it out. Because those T2 and 3T centers are filled with that fire in the belly today. And just in a short period of 36 months, you're number three in the world today in number of unicorns. You're number two in the world today in the number of startups and you're number one in the world for the addition of new startups every day. Today you're four, you're ahead of Israel. This for you is the New India. And what I wanted to leave behind with you is a short story of New India, which is the story of Invest India. It was created by this government as a single point of contact for any foreign investor coming into India. Today I have 146 people. Each one is an IIT, IIM, Ivy League. My average age is 30, if you keep me out of it. The more interesting point, every one in that team, and they've all come from high-end consulting or investment banking, so it could be a McKinsey or a JP Morgan. Each one in the team has taken a 7 to 95% pay cut to join, only to make the new India. And let me tell you more. In 36 months, it's been rated by the UN and everyone else as the number one investment promotion agency of the world at a budget which is 2% of that its competitors across the globe. This is the way you all are changing this country. So as you step out, this is the mantle we leave behind with you, it's the Beethoven. Take it, make India proud, and make it the